Hi, everyone. Uh, yeah, we're here at the studio, and I'm very excited for that Kingdom Hearts run. My name is Rosa Flygon. You can call me Court, and I'm here with my wonderful commentators. Hello, I'm Corva May. I was very excited about this run, so I made sure to bring something to demonstrate it. This balloon of the, the newcomer. newcomer. A character from Kingdom Hearts and only Kingdom wow, Hearts. thank you so mm -hmm. much. I'm Akko. Um, and I also was really excited about this run. I noticed that this was Ventus Critical Level 1, so I also decided to bring a balloon, if we could uh, oh, pull that up here. Oh my god. Oh, it's moving around a bit, but it's fun to be, to one. be one. So, um... Y'all are yeah, not gonna forget ready. the category name, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, Kara did a great job reading it out I for agree. us. <laughs> you did a great job with that, Kara. But oh, yeah, I let's... practiced so many times. <laughs> we can tell. Uh, all right, so I'm just going to jump on in here and then we can basically get talking <laughs> about the run. So timer doesn't start until I actually select Ventus on the next screen, so don't worry about it. I would love to skip the introduction. Big fan that you're able to skip intros and skip cutscenes in this game. Uh, but yeah, Birth by Sleep, there's three characters. Last year at Frost Hotels 2023, I did this run as Aqua. Uh, so now we're getting to see Ventus. And you all get to be able to see the, the differences. And I don't know what the two of you are doing back here. So May wanted to showcase this wonderful prize that we have here. We haven't even started the run yet. We need to stop. <laughs> okay, 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 time okay. starts on three, two, one, go. Okay, now you can say your nonsense. What? I mean... That was hurtful. <laughs> I have nothing to say anymore. Wow. Look what you've done. All right. Well, I guess my commentators are out of commission. I've got to carry this one. So uh, we get started here on the Mark of Mastery exam that Aqua and Terra are supposed to be taking and Ven is just here. <laughs> yeah, um, I guess they were like, well, we already created this sequence for the other two. Uh, let's just put them in here. Yeah, so that makes, sense, that makes to me. sense to me. So there's a lot of different mechanics in this game. The first one you just shot, saw was us using the shot lock. It uses the focus dial. And Ventus is the best one. We use it a few different places throughout the run. Um, Aquas is like bubbles, and we only use it in the beginning. But uh, Ventus is really nice. Uh, once we get to the next world, I'll kind of explain a little bit more about the, the command deck that you see on the left. But basically, you have like your normal hits, which is what I'm doing. And then uh, we just run over and hit the X button, like you do in all the other Kingdom Hearts games. And then you have this command deck that we're able to switch between. And that's the crux of the gameplay of this game, is that you find commands, you slot them in, you meld them, makes them stronger. It's Honestly, I think a really cool sequence, if a bit, like, obtuse. <laughs> it's, it's, it's... Court, I'm upset that you uh, explained the one thing that I knew about this, <laughs> which was that you and had the, 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 no, the, the Mark of Mastery <laughs> exam thing. Oh, uh, you're not a Kingdom Hearts expert? Uh, I wouldn't say I am. I'm simply a Court Frozen Flygon mm. fan here to support. Well, this is a great opportunity for you to get a donation in to test Akko's Kingdom Hearts. Oh, yeah, can you quiz? Yeah. Can you please send in your quiz questions? Uh, yes, I will uh, try my best to give you the right answer, and I will also try my best to give you the wrong answer. <laughs> Akko will give the best answer she can, and then uh, we'll see if we'll we see. can be actually we, correct. We can rate if it's fact or fiction. That's true. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so I need to actually focus on this menu if you all want to talk about the incentive. Sure. Uh, yeah, so about 30 minutes into this run, roughly, we're going to be uh, voice acting, like the three of us are going to be voice acting a cutscene that has Aqua, Terra, and Ventus in it. Um, and we have a ton of fun with it. And we want y'all to have fun with it too. So make sure you get your donations in for that. I do, I do a lot of practice uh, having no emotion in my speech. I think it's very funny that Aqua has no emotion uh, in her dialogue, but like all of the nobodies have a ton of emotion in their dialogue. <laughs> It's an interesting choice. How are we doing on that, Kara? We are getting there. We are right now at $1,347, 44%. So we're moving, but we got a little ways to go. I know you can do it, Twitch chat. Yeah, please, please, get your, please get your donations in. You get a, you get a, a quiz question uh, <laughs> donation in. Those start to add up. We're there before we know it. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you're assigning them to that voice act and cuts the incentive. I'm getting a great grade in Char Bunny right now. <laughs> Yeah, so this first world is actually like quite obnoxious in terms of gameplay. We have to do this kind of like mission where we free all the doors from the boxes before they trust us. And then we have an escort mission with Snow White. Uh, so it's a good opportunity for me to kind of just talk about how the deck works in general. So you see that I'm now in this thing called Fever Pitch. And so as you use your commands, you build up meter and that gets you into a different command style. And then based on your the loadout of your commands, that's the wrong direction. 
Uh, based on the loadout of your commands, you have different finishers like this. Uh, and that was the Fever Pitch finisher. I used it way too early. I'm supposed to be using it a little bit later, but I'm, I'm a slightly bit off on my uh, patterning here. It's not a big deal. We'll be able to uh, recover it. So, uh, this is a, a good time to read any donations we have because, you know, we still just got to get through this section. Yeah, you got it. We've got some Kingdom Hearts trivia, which may or may not be true. Oh, boy. We've got $10 from Anonymous who says, Kingdom Hearts trivia, Donald Duck is canonically the most powerful magician in Final Fantasy lore. I think this is true. Donald Duck has some random like time travel spell or something. So my understanding is that this was true and is no longer true as of Final Fantasy 16. Why? What is the yes. what is the what is the stronger spell? Something happened in Final Fantasy Something 16. Happened in Final that Fantasy 16 that was stronger than Zeta Flare and thus Donald Duck. Yeah. Is now in Wait. Place. What is Zeta Flare? Is Zeta, that the crazy powerful Hearts 3. ability that Donald Duck has? Donald Duck does it in Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. It's so silly. I see. It's very much so like. I think you have credit on that. Forgive, forgive me, for I must go all out just this once. <laughs> <laughs> and then Donald passes like faints. It's incredible. It is the most oh my God. in, in the a series animes? of anime things. It is, it is so up good. there in anime it's so things. Good. It's so incredible. Um, all right, so we just did that, and basically we're going to be getting over to the escort mission. So every single every single chest that I open will contain an important, like basically surprise tool we're going to use for later. Uh, and uh, we're picking up these where's ethers. The, where's the guy? Oh, he's there. Oh, it's exactly. him. It's the him reference. Uh, so I've been picking up and buying ethers. Ethers fill my focus command because we're going to be using the shot lock on the boss here. And we're also going to pick up the funniest uh, command of all time called mini, where it just shrinks down uh, the I enemies and you step Mickey on Bullet. them. I'm sorry. Oh, oh I should have should have thought about that. He is pretty mini compared to the fun to be He's, one balloon. I would that agree. That is the fun <laughs> <laughs> When they won't get to the studio with that, they were supposed to be setting up with me. And, you know, uh, we found some stuff. I wasn't ready. Uh, we just wanted to celebrate you never... No. Getting to level two. Uh, Court, you're going to want to see this. <laughs> on. Uh, so this escort mission, basically trying uh, Snow White will keep moving as long as there's not an enemy in front of her. So I don't necessarily need to kill all of them. I just need to move them out of their way. And then there are these sometimes where these trees will come and get her and they take a while. So you want to have her avoid those when possible. Um, it's pretty finicky. This one, this one is non, th these trees are non-skippable and you wait a second so that you actually clear both of them in one, one shot and it clears out all the other enemies. Um, but yeah, this, this escort mission is something. So time for, time for another donation here. We have so many incredible donations. We've got a lore quiz for you. Hi. Five dollars okay. from Blarlack. Kingdom Hearts lore quiz. Which character is the best Sora and why is it goofy? Of all the characters, you picked the only one. Which <laughs> character is the best Sora? And why is um, it goofy? Isn't so is Roxas a Sora? Roxas, Roxas is, a Sora. is a Sora. Roxas is, are, is a nobody. Is there another Sora other than Sora and Roxas? There's Shion. There's Shion. Yeah, Shion's Shion? also a Sora. Oh. Snow White died? You all distracted me so much that Snow White died. Oh, <laughs> well, good, good. That's okay. More time so for donations. Right That's just more so time for y'all to get that cutscene. That Ven well, is a Sora. I would argue that Sora is a Ven. Sora is a Ven. Sora is a Ven, yeah. So this is a prequel to Kingdom Hearts. I was going to mention that Ven does look like Sora. And I like I don't know much about Kingdom Hearts, ben but I know what Sora more, looks like. Ven looks more like Roxas than Sora. Yes. But Roxas looks like Sora, right? Or it's does like, Roxas like, look you like, look like Ben? At there's ben there's, like, there's like a like subcategory of Sora, you know? Oh. Why are you over there, Snow White? Y'all, I'm sorry. Escort mission is is something that is happening right now. I promise the rest of the game will look a lot more impressive. All right, do I get any points for that one? No, I'm gonna say no. Okay, you get more donations for it. Though. I would love more donations for it. I just have to say, I'm so glad this is getting exactly as lore spicy as I'd hoped. <laughs> um, let's see. All right, we got fifty dollars from Flaky. He says, "Hey everyone, glad to be donating for such a great cause. Also, so glad to be seeing one of my favorite series run. Good luck, Frozen Flygon, for a quiz question." Technically, who is Tara's nobody? Who is Ooh. Tara's nobody? Um, I have no clue. Um, can I have a hint? Do you all know the answer? Tara's in this game. I know Tara's in this so game. So choose from those characters. Aqua. No. Okay, it's not Aqua. Good Aqua, to know. Aqua falls into the darkness after this. Okay. Um, is it... Um, the the master. 
Which, which one? Which one? The, 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 the one that... The, um, the evil one or Mark Hamill? The one, the one who said... the one or who the master says, of masters. The one who Aqua says the master has no reason to distrust That's me. Ericus. That's Ericus. That's Ericus? Yeah. Is Ericus Mark Hamill? Yes. We went over this before the run. <laughs> oh. Aqua is failing her mark of mastery. All right. Um, I got nothing. Someone tell me. It is the... the I'm pretty sure it's Xehanort, right? Is Terra well, Xehanort the nobody of Terra? Terra? That I, feels like not quite right. I, I, because I that's, that's being Norded. That's different. That's, you're right. It's not Lingering right. Will, because Lingering Will is, is like Terra's, an unrelated third concept. Is Terra Xehanort really Terra's nobody? Well, the thing, well, the thing is, Actually, Heartless I don't, don't exist yet. Act. Heartless don't exist yet, so <laughs> nobody don't exist yet? Point, yeah. So it's like... All right. I don't think I actually I, know. Please read another I don't donation. Know I know the answer to that. <laughs> actually, no, don't read a donation. I have a boss fight here, actually. Or um, I overthought it. One of the two. So, okay, what's the boss fight? The reason we've been picking up all these ethers, we need all four of them. They refill our focus gauge. So, I'm going to be using shot lock very specifically 12, 11, 12, 11, 11. And you'll kind of see what those numbers mean once I start doing the shot locks. Uh, cool. And the reason for this is it, it like perfectly times it out so that we will kill the tree. And so, we use an ether and then we just do it again. It's not. Oh, okay. I was so about like to say, it's not that like, difficult until he does that. I feel like Shotlock's build up slow in this game. Yeah, they're pretty slow. Um, Press yeah. to three. That one I missed, uh, but it was worth it because I just got those hits in and I'm going to be able to hit him here. Is this the first game that had Shotlocks? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then Kingdom Hearts 3 copied, right? Yeah. It, it didn't need to have them. Like, you, I liked it in this game because it, it just kind of adds on to their stuff. Kingdom Hearts 3 didn't need Shotlocks. I used them a little bit. There's some movement stuff with it too, though. Well, I mean, they were there, so I used it. We didn't need it. And uh, this should kill. So on the last one, you can make it go as long as possible, and hopefully it should kill, or I'll just run over and go oop. Oh, oop. oh. one more oop, please. There we <laughs> go. The second oop always does it. Yeah, so the thing about Kingdom Hearts is you always have to use, like, a finisher type to kill bosses and stuff, and sometimes they have no health, and you just have to finish the combo. So that was that situation. I got interrupted by going into Fever Pitch. Which is that always funny. true? Um, for, for most Kingdom Hearts games, yeah. Oh, you have to use a finisher of like magic is always a finisher. You have to end the combo. Oh, yeah. I never knew that. <laughs> uh, but this is a perfect time for another donation, I think. I was just about to ask if I could chime in. Uh, we have just passed the 50% mark on that voice acted cutscene Ooh, incentive. Right. We're actually Thank all the you, way up at 52% so at 1570 out of that 3000. Uh, we only have about 10 more minutes on that. And again, I have heard this voice acted cutscene. It is a not to miss. So make sure to get <laughs> yeah. your donations in for that quick. Absolutely. Y'all can do it, I believe. I believe. All right, we need to sell mini. Um, buy mini. Oh yeah, I did perform report that I would do this. Uh, if you what? Buy two sliding dash. Bippity, boppity, boop. I did you promise Court that you would do that, or did you promise Court that you wouldn't do that? No, I said I would. Oh. <laughs> I need to buy two sliding dashes, not sell my sliding dash. Menuing in this game is really hard uh, for me. I don't typically play RPGs, so uh, the menuing part is definitely something that I, I struggle with versus like the learning of the boss fights is something that I think I'm pretty I'll good say, at. As an RPG runner, you can always be work practicing on menuing. It's a very hard skill. Yeah, it is. It takes a lot of time to... Uh, really uh, come to become a, a master of masters of. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to clear out the enemies here and hopefully I don't fall. Uh, that would have been bad. Uh, to be able to lock on and slide up here so we skip a whole section of running around and we need to collect Cinderella's dress pieces. But the real purpose of this room is to set us up for the rest of the run. We basically need to level up our D-Links. Didn't talk too much about D-Links yet. So we're going to be using them here and leveling them up. Basically, you get to, once you go through worlds, you pick up different D-Links and you are able to basically swap out your command deck without having to pick them up or menu. And we're going to level up Terra's D-Link to level two and Snow White's D-Link to level two. And both of those are really important. And you'll we get to use Terra's right at the end of this world. And so you'll see why we needed to do that. And Importantly, we're avoiding the floor here, right? To stop the enemies from spawning? Uh, uh, optimal movement is you sliding dash over and D-Link on the way down because oh. D-Links pull you to the ground, but I was slow. Uh, so basically, the great thing about this room is that you have this giant yarn ball. We're level one, uh, so our attacks are not strong. But this yarn ball just completely like mows them over, basically. And there's a random chance to spawn a upgrade. And the upgrade looks like a little wayfinder. Uh, the thing is, we don't want to be killing the little shoes because they have items that we need. We are going to be... So I'm actually going to revert from Terra and be Snow White once I get some D-Link here. Um, and it's, it's, it's a pretty complicated, like, 
flow chart of what I need to be doing at any given time to get all the things I need here. So I'm going to become Snow White and we go over to the shoes. I can't help but notice you still look like uh, Ventus, but you're telling me you're Snow White. <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> We, we, we just borrow Snow White stuff. We don't we don't look like her. I see. And so we use the grumpy command to it's a thing called treasure raid and it causes enemies to drop rare items. And we these items we need okay, we need three fleeting crystals. Oh, we got an upgrade. That's great. Um, we need three fleeting crystals and are the upgrades I talked about. And so it can take a while. So now that I've explained all of that and why we're gonna be sitting here for a bunch more minutes, uh, please, more donations. I would love to. We're making such good progress, Switch Chat. Thank you for these donations. We got $25 from Tara Lynn, who says, I want to see this voice Tara? acting. Tara? I want to see this <laughs> voice acting. Love seeing all these runs. Also, trans rights. Thank yeah. you so much, Tara Lynn. $50 from Flying Ludicolo says, buying Ooh. my ticket to Hi, Disney Flying. Town. <laughs> Thanks, Flying. Hi. $50 from Doodleby, who asks, who is the master of masters and why is it Demix? That is the that is the best possible choice. <laughs> These could all be completely made up as far as I can tell. What is Demix? Who who is Demix? Demix is, is that one of a, the is that like of a... the original organization 13 but is on the bench for the real organization 13 and uh, his whole character is that he's like a uh, slack off. I see. Uh, Demix has uh I I I personally I love Demix. Demix, Demix is fantastic. Is great. I'm like I I see myself in Demix like I don't want. To. Dude, that sounds like oh. a video okay. editing program to me. True. Thanks. <laughs> Do I have time to get in any more donations? Sure. Please. Uh, we got $50 from Yukupo, who says, less than three, 58 over two days. <laughs> uh, we have $10 from Regali that says, my favorite piece of Birth by Sleep lore is that this rendition of Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo scans to Bells of Notre Dame. You're going to do great, Frozen. Much love. Thanks so much. Uh, I will say there is a Kingdom Hearts thread in the FF Discord where people just talk about the nonsense of the lore. There is? Yes. Why am I not in that? Great question. You should be. Uh, and uh, by the way, exclamation mark FF, please join our Discord. Uh, <laughs> we've been talking about the event in there constantly. It's like a second Twitch chat. It really it's actually is. been so much fun. Would love to see you in there. Uh, if you email the account, I'll send you an invite right after my run. I kind of can't right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could. You could try. Yeah, you I, could, I'd, I'd go a little bit overestimate. Take a moment. All right. Uh, second fleeting. So we're looking for one more? Looking for one more. So we, we have time for more donations? Absolutely. Oh, fantastic. Uh, we got $25 from Queen Mabs. Please, let's make this voice acted cutscene happen. Thank you for that. We are at 1670 of 3000. We're getting there, but time is becoming slim, folks. Time is becoming yeah, slim? Please. Is that an expression? Time, time is becoming slim. <laughs> um, I think that's something that happens in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I agree. Another donation. I'm still not done. I got to level up Snow White and Terra. $10 from Flaky. Flaky again. Seeing the differences in how Ventus is run versus the other main characters is so fun. I'm also loving all the lore commentary. It's really making my day. Answer slash personal headcanon for Terra's Nobody, Xemnas, seen in Kingdom Hearts 2. Ooh. That's, well, uh, okay. In a way, I guess, because that's, because if you have answers, Nobody, and you are Norded, in a way, that you are then they are Norded. So I'm sorry, then, what is, what What does you are Norded mean? You don't know what Nording is? You know what is? is? Oh. She doesn't know what she morning is. Oh my god. Oh my she, bad. She doesn't know. So it is it is it is such a like recurring thing that happens in this series that Xehanort will just like take over somebody else's body. Yeah. Um that it is referred to by the community as getting norted. It just happens a lot. It happens wow. a lot. And so it it first starts out here. Uh I will say this RNG is is it's pretty bad. Um we we're now Are upgraded we with Terra. Oh. We need Terra and and Snow White's upgrades. Okay. Uh they're required for the boss fight. So we're only looking now for Snow White's upgrade. The annoying thing is when you use the D link you're you're Oh, there we go. Okay, 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 okay. We did it. Let's get out of here. You can clap uh, for that. You can, yeah. Uh, I, the thing is, I need to leave this room with free deal, full D-Link as well. And now we're finally out of here. Yay! I think that RNG was just buying us a little extra time to hit this Woo! voice acting cutscene incentive. Yeah, we we. It seems like we're getting close. Yeah, I know we can do it. Let's do it. I love. I I really enjoy doing the voice. <laughs> it's very fun. It's, it's very fun. <laughs> I want to do it. Let me do the voice. <laughs> 
Yes. Uh, also, guess in chat who's who's voicing who. Oh, that's, that's a good question. You all don't know. Oh. in and let, give us your guess. <laughs> all right, uh, boss. They gave a hint earlier. Yeah. So uh, this is Princess, I think. No, Lucifer. <laughs> not even close. Uh, you're gonna see why we needed Terra level two immediately. It's really important. So we're going to on purpose get hit here. Uh, am I gonna die from the second hit? Yeah. All right. Okay. So th there's a reason. Uh, basically, if you are in uh, critical range, uh, being in Terra dealing will let you do a lot more damage, and the fight is much faster. So it's worth going for it, basically. Um, and then we're just going to use this command called Sonic Blade. It's, it's really, really powerful, and it kind of just unlocks the cat. Uh, I'm going to die again, so I'm not going to do it. Ah! You got a donation. Well, Cord's not. I Death definitely do. And I also want to call out, we have passed $79,000. We are getting All closer right. to 80 k So if you donate right now, you can get voice acting. You can get us to 80 k You can flummox us with your Kingdom Hearts lore. This is a bargain, folks. One donation gets you so much. Oh, uh, you're right. I'm doing the math here. And when we... Uh, when we finish this uh, voice acted cutscene, we had 80K. we'll be past wow. 80k. That's incredible. That's yes. right. Right so now we're at 17. This supposed to be happening. <laughs> Yo, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, just we're at 1760. We're at 58%. I know we can do this. Absolutely. On chat. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just like, be, the, the Sonic Blade is really, really good. And we get to use the finisher here, and it, it just stun locks the, the enemy. The only problem, like, the setup can be very frustrating. And, um, you are seeing me, you know, I've taken a few deaths so far. That's because I'm, I can't level up. All Everything is really, really particular. So I will die in one or two hits. Later on in the run, we're going to get like second chance and once more, which are very useful in basically every Kingdom Hearts game, especially yeah. challenge runs like this. They're really, really good. One of them protects you from getting killed by combos and one of them protects you. Uh, you will never die if you're at full health. Okay. And so, so without those, you would be getting one shot later in the game. I just got one shot twice by that cat. You got two shot. Come eh, on. That is enough. true. That is a two shot. I only check, can count to check, one. Check the VOD. It was a two <laughs> shot. <laughs> All right. So this is where the run really picks up. Um, we pretty much are done with setup besides we're going to be doing like command melding later on and leveling up. We have our D-Links that we need and we just kind of are off to the races here. We have a tough boss fight at the end of almost every world for the rest of the run, which is why I really, really like this run. Um, getting to practice the boss fights and get really good at them is really engaging. Um, but as we're just running, we're literally just doing a fetch quest for this first part. Please, donations. You got it. Uh, we've got a $50 donation from Amerlin, who says, I think, it, I think it's hilarious y'all are talking about Ventus. You wouldn't say this stuff to him at Destiny Islands. He's jacked. <laughs> Not only that, but he wields the freshest Keyblades, uses the chillest commands, and hangs out with the hottest Xehanorts. <laughs> Go Court and all the Fatals. I love you, Amy. Miss Thank you. Thank you, Amy. <laughs> God. Does Ven... Does Ven really hang out with Xehanort that much? Not really. He's mostly asleep. <laughs> yeah. Would a copy pasta lie to us? No, that's true. Mm -hmm. I, I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm actually, sorry. um, I saw I saw Ventus at the store the other day, and I said uh, it was cool to see him, but I didn't want to bother him. And he was like, "Oh, like you're doing right now?" I went, huh? and he was like, "Ha, ha, ha, ha." <laughs> Another exactly. donation, please. We've got fifty dollars from Ducks. No comment. Thank you, Ducks. Thank you. Fifty dollars from Sparrow and Tessie. No comment. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and here we are. The other reason we need Terra level two. We're gonna be Sonic bleeding yet again. Uh, yesterday when I was doing practice, uh, I could not get through this fight, and I was like, I, I don't know what's happening. Like they're taking forever to get killed. Uh, I forgot to turn on level one. So oh. the interesting thing about turning on level one is that it actually does it changes your damage scaling for certain things. Um, like in Aqua, it's really important because it, it upgrades your finishers, and so we use a thing called Spell Weaver the entire time and just decimate everything. And here we use. Um, D-Links all the time, and it boosts our damage by a lot. So even though we're level 1, even though we don't have good stats, be, uh, be, because the level 1 ability actually is a buff in some ways. So, uh, it's a good time for donations as I just use Sonic Blade over and over and over and over again. I would love to. We are at 1985 out of 3,000 for this voice Ooh, actor cutscene. Just a hair short of two-thirds. We can do this! Just a thousand left. I know we can do it. We've got a big one hundred dollar donation from Bookworm Forty Two. Thank you. Thank uh, you. 
$25 from Kite Rider. Thank you. Uh, $15 from Revo says, is this the voice acting I think I know? P.S. Akko. Wait. Oh, hi, Revo. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I was like, yes, it's exactly the voice acting you think you know, Revo. So me and Akko are two of the organizers for a Slow Community Marathon called Archithan. That's actually going to be coming up soon. And I did Aqua's story, and we did this cutscene for that that I literally used for my incentive submission video. Mm -hmm. uh, and we had a blast. It was like a 4 a.m. It, it was so <laughs> early. It was awesome. Can I jump in so, real quick? Yeah. Sure. We just got a $200 donation Let's from go. Deuce. Who says Kingdom Thank Hearts you. was the first game I got after I moved away from home, so the series always holds a special place in my heart, no matter how ridiculous it gets. So excited to be watching this run. Thank you so, Thank you so, so much. And yes. that donation just got us to 74% of the way there, three quarters wow. of the way there. Let's keep this momentum going, folks. Oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. okay. Um, we need to get, uh, it's optional to get three or four Fleeting crystals in the grind section. If yeah, you don't get it, you just get the fourth one. I, I, it's fine. It's, it's fun to be one. It's fun it's to be fun. one. It's fun to be one. <laughs> uh, so the thing is, uh, another benefit of using D Links is that D Links will always put you back at full health. So it doesn't really make a big difference to us because we're always using D Links in our strategy. This is actually a strategy called Red Bar. So as long as that's exactly. playing, it's, it's a lot of the. Uh, uh, audio cues, and so it makes actually all the animations play faster. It's funny you mention that because this entire boss fight is a red bar strategy. There we go. Uh, so basically, with Maleficent, the reason we need, we're going to be using the Snow White D-Link that we leveled up, uh, I need to meld for a second. Uh, do you want to talk about melding, May, when I, as I do it? You could turn, you could take two commands, and you can uh, put them together, and you can put an item with it, and then it becomes another command. And there's a giant chart, and I genuinely do not know how you do this without the giant chart. Like, when I play this game, I go to game FAQs, and I pull up a huge, like, the big list, and I go... I guess I'm gonna put these two together. You're supposed to like. Is that what people say? Game FAQs? Like, yeah, is I, do. Game I do. I always say game FAQs. I always say game yeah. facts. I, <laughs> write in and let us know yeah, what you say. I, I'm it. very curious. Yeah, it, yeah, write it in your message <laughs> in your if message. it's game FAQs or game facts. I'm sure we'll be able running, to tell. Running tally. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, I, the, the idea is you experiment with different ones yeah. and. Uh, there, I just got payback rate with Magic Haste. Magic Haste means that all of my Magic Haste have a slower cooldown. Very, very important to this whole run. Slower for Haste? All right, and so now I'm gonna be using Snow White. And uh, basically, I need to get into Red Bar. That is exactly what we're gonna be doing. Because as you see, uh, the meter accelerates automatically if you're in Red Bar. Um, and then we are going to be using Snow White's finisher on Maleficent to win, because it makes us invincible and does a lot of damage. Her pattern is very unpredictable, and so this fight is quite hard. I need to be, uh, you know, focusing on stuff. So we have time for a, a donation in here. You got it. We are at 75%, so we've moved up a little bit. We still have that 25% to go. We're at 2265. You can do it, Twitch chat. Uh, We're so close. $25 from... Kendall Steven says, oh, right, it's donation time again. Let's go voice acting. <laughs> wow. Yes. Wait, that was really good. I, th I, th I, th I assume that's... Uh -huh. I assume that's what that was. Oh, I think, that was I fantastic. Know, you were here. <laughs> I will I tell these, you. These are the voices that we're going to be doing, but yeah, no, we're going to be different voices. <laughs> oh, that was incredible, though. All right, I'm really hoping this kills. <laughs> okay, where'd you go? Are you gonna? Is it gonna kill you over there? No. See ya. Mm -hmm. He keeps leaving. See ya. I don't. See ya. I don't like this. I don't like this. Uh, Kara, were you saying something? Nothing important. Just that I hope no one asked me to do a Donald Duck impression oh. because that one is rough. <laughs> Somebody else. Somebody else. Do yeah, that. yeah. Don't oh, worry. I, can, I. Chat. This is. Like do a Donald. This is a hint to donate and make me do my terrible <laughs> Donald Duck impression. It's really bad. Uh, I'd love to hear them. All right. So, uh, do we got get a new Keyblade. Uh, yeah, you get a new Keyblade every time oh. you beat a world. Um, and that that is a reminder, we also do have the Keyblade to set open. I would prefer us to beat the voice actor cutscenes first. But thank you to everyone who's been going for the Keyblade choice. Um, we don't have to change the keyblades in this run it doesn't really impact anything uh but we'll, we can do fun uh so first try maleficent uh because i focused there that was really really awesome that fight is can be super challenging super glad i got through that uh and now we have this guy uh the too mask slow. boy <laughs> yeah I, I just it's too slow so who is the mask boy so this is vanitas and so is vanitas, vanitas our evil 
version? Yeah, pretty All much. All the darkness of, of Ventus the dark taken, has been out taken out of his heart. into Vanitas. Yeah. Is, and then does the, that make him a, a nobody? No. Does that no. make him a heartless? No. no. Does that he make created him? the Unversed, which are the enemies of the game. Wait, it's a newcomer. It's, it's the newcomer. Oh! oh. oh. All right, so our heart tires. Oh, no. <laughs> what did you do? The straw, the, the stick. I can't look because I'm playing the video game. The Mickey stick. I mean, the newcomer <laughs> stick Oh, my gone. God. Uh, while well, they're doing their nonsense. It's okay. it's okay. The strategy of this fight is very silly. Basically, we are just putting Vanitas to sleep and having Mickey do all of the work. Uh, the problem is he broke out of sleep. It's not good. We so don't like that. Him again? I need to sleep him again. And he is very finicky. Come okay. on, Venus. And then you just, it's like, not chain the sleep? By then we just chain the sleeps. Oh. I, my magic is not very... I'm not in a good pattern right now, is the thing. So if you get it off of start, there's a... Like basically a way you can just there's, keep him there's locked an in. Yeah, uh, but, but uh, you're, he keeps waking up just for a brief second. So yeah. it's, there's a risk there. Yeah, the good thing is he goes to attack Mickey a lot, and so that makes it easy. Makes it easier. Uh, that was early. Yeah. Where he should be okay. He's hopefully. my friend now. Okay, okay, okay. This is looking. Okay. Mickey, I need you to hit him, please. Yeah, sorry, newcomer. Oh. Newcomer, please. Did, did he just oh. say let's gain health? Let's gain health. No, he says, let's team up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, th I thought I don't know where you me when I need healing. Yeah. I need healing. Listen, Donald's not here. We're not getting that. Uh, Kara, right. you have something we to say? Uh, absolutely. I've got a bunch of donations to say. Oh, no. Please. We just got $50 from Anonymous that says, how about a Scrooge McDuck impression? <laughs> the only thing I'm worse at than ducks is Scottish. I um, don't wonder what Scottish Scrooge does. sounds like. Well, I... No, I don't even remember. But thank you, Anonymous. I'll work on it. <laughs> uh, we've got $25 from Hoster Kuhn. Thank you so much. This is getting us closer. We're 77% of the way to this incentive, 2315, which means we need $685. I know that sounds like a lot, but a lot of little donations will hit that real fast. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. Every single donation uh, makes a, a very large impact. So thank you to everyone who has already donated. And also, we have a prize pack open right now for Kingdom Hearts. If you're a big Kingdom Hearts fan, $50. So uh, Auburn Moogle so sent us in so much stuff. So please, uh, gamesofquick.com slash prizes. Is Ventus and in there? I'm sure Ventus is in there. Axel's in there. I think Axel's Axel. winning the Keyblade Axel. thing as well. Yeah, Axel's in there. I've seen Axel. Ventus, I'm sure, is in some of the manga. Um, I'm sure Aqua's in there. The whole squad. The squad. Uh, <laughs> Which one? The early squad or the new squad after they've traveled through time or? Are the worlds on that, uh, what was it? The diorama thing? I think the diorama the was from, box? the shadow box is from Kingdom Hearts 2, I believe. Uh, it's, it's, so it is the Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3 world. Oh, uh, it's so, it's yeah, so yeah, beautiful. Wow. Um, but yeah, we are in Radiant Garden. So after the armored boss fight is where the cutscene happens that we have practiced. So you need to get your donations in You're so now. Close. We can um, do it. There's not a lot of time, so get that donation in please. now. But it can happen. And we have we have gotten the tickets to Disney Town, which are very important. Very important. If you know, you should donate for it. Yeah, making a safety safe here. Um, I, yes. I did just oh. look up a Scrooge McDuck voice line to see what it was, and I think All we right. need to keep this donation incentive going onwards and upwards. Nope, that was terrible. <laughs> that, no, I, 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 I respect that was pretty it. Good. That I respect was pretty it. Good. I just want to be clear that my money is where my mouth is, and I will try even mm -hmm. if I am terrible. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much we appreciate it. All right, I learned a reroute very uh, like a week ago. Where I, I get I, fire dash I instead. Love, uh, I love learning a new route like a week before I know. getting run. I would never do that. Uh, and shout outs to um, both Pestilus and Texas Grandma. Uh, Texas Grandma is in the FF Discord. Who both helped me so much to learn this reroute. And it makes my life so much better. So I wanted to shout both of them out. Uh, you two are both incredible and really helpful. Um, I love being able to ask you all questions while I'm learning this game. So thank you so much. Um, as I'm menuing and stuff, more donations, please. Sure thing. We are 77% of the way there. We've got $30 from Comet getting us closer. She says, hi, Frozen. Hi, Akko. Hi, May. Hi, can Comet. Every, can everyone in the chat say, hi, Comet. Hi, Comet. Hi, Comet. Hi, Comet. I'm, I'm not in the chat. Ah. <laughs> Let's please listen to instructions. We have Sorry. another $50 from Amerlin who says, now that's what I call gaming. Now that's what I call gaming. Thank you, Amy. Thank you so much. $50 from Melody. Hey, May, Akko and Court from the interview production desk. Good luck with the run. 
Hi, Hi Melody. Melody. Melody actually uh, is here with, the, with us in the studio. Helped us set up the run. Been so, so sweet all week. Thank you. Uh, all right. We have $50 from Penguin with a Gun, who says, Kingdom Hearts is love, Kingdom Hearts is life, and light, so Sora tells me. Very true. And that's moved up to 78%. We're almost 80% of the way there, and we're almost to 80k. Can we get two 80s simultaneously to soothe my <laughs> obsessive need for numbers to match? Come on, Ooh, chat. Good idea. I love it. Or you could donate $13 for, uh, you know, Kingdom Hearts reference. Ooh. $13, $13 train? Of course, $13 for the uh, 13 um, Keyblade Masters on the council. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm flunking you from, um, from that. Members of Organization 13. Wow. There you go. There we go. I'm so proud of you. All right, more donations. I need to menu. Um, we've got $25 from Maximus who says, I pronounce it Game Facts. Not Game Facts, Game Facts. Kara, stop saying it oh. wrong. Oh. <laughs> All right, good to know. So you pronounce it Game Facts. I, I guess no, I do. Was wrong. Game for QS. And oh my God, we have just jumped to 92% of the way to Let's this go. incentive. So close. We seem to have $100 from Corv May, who says, Courtney Frozen Flygon. I couldn't think of a message. I was trying to be quick. <laughs> <laughs> Courtney Frozen Flygon? That feels so wrong. Yes. <laughs> and we also have $250 from Anonymous. Thank you so much. We are so close. $225 so away, much. folks. Wow. Thank you all so, so, so much. Yeah. Thank you, slower, Court. Um, is this, so is the fight right after this, the one before yes. it? Yeah, it's coming up. Okay, so y'all, this is the, uh, the final hour. I, I mean, not it's the final the, hour. You do not have the, the final minute. minute. It's the final Significantly minute. less burning, than the final hour. <laughs> we're burning the last part of our candle wick. I don't know. Um, I don't have analogies. Burning this the, is why Kara is the host. Burning right? our bridges <laughs> on both ends. <laughs> oh. All right, so um, I'm going to have to be focusing during the fight. So basically, the whole concept of this is around the Firestorm uh, command style, and that's why we have Fire Dash. And we're just trying to be using the fin the Fire Finisher to cut down all the different phases of the armor fight. Uh, Aqua's form of this fight is so much easier. Um, I'm going to be staring at my notes, uh, so you all entertain them. Can I entertain you by telling you that we hit 80K? Yeah! yeah. And... I thought I was going to tell you about 80k, but at the exact same moment, we just hit the voice acted cutscene oh incentive. God. Thank you so much, y'all. Oh yes. my gosh. Oh my gosh. Your Y'all's timing gonna... could not be better. Y'all get to see if your uh, if your guess about who's doing which voice is correct. I know. I'm excited to see what people think. They wanted to make it thrilling. They wanted the drama, the last minute victory. True. Mm -hmm. What are you doing in this fight, Court? I can't tell you. I need to focus. <laughs> So this is a good time for, so, for some more donations? Sure. Yes, please. Because we got a bunch that push us over the edge there. Uh, we've got $10 from King Mickey, who says, Say, fellas, did someone mention the door to darkness? $50 from Heldon Sabret, who says, Wanted to be witty, decided to just go fast. We need this incentive. And I, Kingdom Hearts did in a Xehanort voice, and I don't know what Xehanort's voice is. Do you know what Xehanort's voice is? That means like, Kingdom Hearts! <laughs> Kingdom Hearts! <laughs> that's, that's my best Xehanort, having no idea what it is like. We got $100 from Durek, who says, Happy International Women's Day. Thank yeah. you! And $200 to to... from Anonymous. Thank you so Thank much. What's going wrong here? I'm slow, basically. Okay. Uh, so too slow. Too, I, too slow. I, I, I'm too slow. Um, basically, you need to be go, doing a lot of things very quickly and also reading the notes. That is a weakness of mine. When I talk, I don't read the notes. Uh, and so it's something that I struggle with. This fight's really hey, difficult. that's blocking you now. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying my best. This is, a, this is a fight I practice a lot. It's very difficult. It's very fast paced. And just gonna just gonna be trying my best, basically. So uh, well, while you're focusing on that, I want to congratulate the Twitch chat on hitting that incentive, hitting that 80k, and guess what? You also hit the opening of a brand new Kingdom Hearts incentive. Go ahead, go ahead. If we can, if we, you got this, Court. If we can hit a thousand dollars by the end of this run. 
Frozen Flygon will fight the two bonus epilogue bosses oh. as level one Aqua. Yeah, you'll get to see Aqua. Yeah, if you give you so much time for this. That's great. <laughs> yeah, the uh, basically once you beat all three characters and do their stuff, there are there's like a epilogue. Uh, you fight the two bosses with Aqua. It's really fun. Would love to get to show that off. Uh, this fight's really hard. It's okay. We just get to hear this banger music. And we get to and we get to see the cutscene where they all look at each other like ten times. Aqua and I were gonna sing the music, but Court said we are under no circumstances allowed to <laughs> That's do that. That's correct. <laughs> If you're upset, up, if you're glad about that, thank Court. If you're upset that about was it, weird. Um, blame Court. Blame Court. Blame that court. easy. Yeah. I think I'm missing. So what I'm missing here is that um, I need to be doing. You have to be doing a certain amount of commands and then blocking. A certain amount of commands and then blocking. I think I am blocking too early and missing some commands. Uh, so I need to just kind of slow. It, I actually need to just slow it down. And make sure I get all the commands right. Curious time. Mm-hmm. Come on. Right, let's see. You may never know. <laughs> it's uh. really tough. I'm curious, like, leading into this voice acted incentive, are there any, like, specific lines from Kingdom Hearts that are, like, some of your favorites? Mm. I like when um, Sora goes, this should help, because he hears it so much. <laughs> I really like in Kingdom Hearts 3 where Donald, oh my gosh, I should have been aggressive there. I could have maybe I do killed. really like the... the, the uh, I'm looking for some, I, I saw some ingredients. <laughs> my favorite line in Kingdom Hearts like is... is Mickey. It's Riku. It's Riku. They put bugs in them. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's so good. I love that one. It's so good. Because and then the all of us were Mickey in that moment. And then the one where Goofy gets hit by the uh, by the boulder, and then Mickey just goes, "No, pay for this." <laughs> God, that scene is so incredible. I think I'm late. Oh, I'm alive. Bring Somehow. it. Somehow. If y'all have any favorite lines. You can let us know when you're putting that towards the bonus uh, boss. True Absolutely. and real. That's right, and we've already got a we've already got a fifty dollar donation from Anonymous towards that incentive. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. You can do one more. Yeah. Uh, sure. We've got twenty five dollars from Lemon Carrots. It says Kingdom Hearts is one of the most important series in the world to me. I tuned in earlier just in time to hear some Demix appreciation, and I agree. He's the best boy of all the girls and boys. <laughs> All right, so uh, making good progress on this now. So the first part of that is very challenging, uh, but now we've killed uh, the first two sections. We're going to just be blocking these lasers, and then I'm going to try and go under. It's going to do a, another big bad laser, and I need to line up under it so it doesn't kill me, and then I can just uh, sit here and do commands over and over again. So that's nice. Uh, I, I lined up correctly, and I'm going to just hopefully... Uh, Terra's dead right now, which is not helpful. I would really like for him Don't to be doing to not damage. Skip the yeah, I'm, yeah. And so, gonna be just you, Firestorm just does so much damage. So that's why we're just building up Firestorm as much as possible. Oh, uh, this is scary. Okay, I'm gonna back out of this. That kind of sleeping on the job energy. Oh, it's one HP. Uh, I know. Uh, that's the problem. His mark of mastery exam. This is the problem. I told y'all. Uh, I just hit it with a thunder. No, I don't have a thunder. DK Thunder. So if I, there are so many times when I've gone and tried to be greedy here and died, I would rather just beat the fight. Fair enough. Uh, All right. <laughs> you can clap for that. All right, we made Time it to out. do some voice acting. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> I gotta I get, get the zone. anime boy mode, which may be a leak. <laughs> Tara! Tara! No, come on! Come on! Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we planned this. We did no, not plan this part at but all. you can't <laughs> skip this one. If you skip this one, it's over, so. <laughs> Yeah, don't skip it, by the way. Yeah. Hey, uh, don't skip the cutscene. I here we go. <laughs> okay. We, we make a good team. Sure we do. Oh yeah. oh yeah, I got you these tickets. For what? For what? Lifetime, Lifetime passes to Disney Town. He said to. He said to take two grown-ups. <laughs> you mean us? <laughs> 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 Listen to me, Ven. We need to get you home. It's okay, Aqua. Trust me, that guy in the mask is history. He'll never badmouth Terra again. You saw the boy in a mask? Uh, did you, uh yes? Benita. Ven, let Aqua take you home. No way. I want to go with you guys. You can't. 
We have a dangerous task ahead of us. I don't want you to get hurt. And what is this dangerous task, Tara? It doesn't sound like what the master told you to do. It might be a different route, but I'm fighting the darkness. I'm not so sure. I've been to the same worlds as you, and I've seen what you've done. You shouldn't put yourself so close to the darkness. Ugh. Listen to yourself, Aqua. Tara would never... You mean you've been spying on me? Is that what he said, what he said to do? The master's orders? It's only... Aqua. I get it. Tara! Just stay put! I'm on my own now, all right? Tara, please! Listen. The master has no reason to distrust you, really. He was just worried. You're awful, Aqua. Uh, now you know the truth. But the Master loves Terra, and you know that too. Were you also ordered to take me home? Aqua, now that you're a Keyblade Master, you've let it go to your head. I'm gonna go find Terra. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy. Thank you so much for donating to <laughs> Thank have, you us so do, much. have us do that. <laughs> the entire cutscene is just leading up to your You're awful, awful aqua. Aqua. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. I'm sorry, I could not stop <laughs> <laughs> Y'all did a really good job of staying uh, composed. That's it's because we just do prize segments with each other constantly. Yeah, We're yeah. just trying to break each other. Uh, I uh, Thank you all for bearing with me as I... Uh, did that boss fight. It's really, really tough. I practice it constantly, and it's... Ventus's story is so much more... Um, how do I explain it? It's, it's a lot more on the fly than Aqua's. Aqua's is kind of like, once you get the, the steps down, it's very consistent. Those kinds of game, like those kinds of speed games are much more up my alley. Ventus was something that I had to work really hard on, of being a little bit more flexible in terms of strats, but I've enjoyed getting to learn it a lot, and then I never plan to learn the Terra run. <laughs> You just move so slow. It's it's not really for me. And yet you voice act Tara. I know. Curious. I know. Well, that, that's how I complete the trio. I, so. Oh. But yeah, this is a, a great time for more donations because we basically just have this forced fight where I'm going to be using the overpowered combination of Magnet and Thunder for like two thirds of this run. Absolutely. That was incredible. Thank, Thank you. you. So that was better than the one that I heard before. I have been waiting all week for that and you did not disappoint. And we've been practicing. <laughs> oh my Thank God. Thank you so much, Kara. Uh, Okay, we've got a lot of donations here. $5 from Blarlack, who says, My favorite line in Kingdom Hearts is where Mickey and Sora look at each other and then both say, in perfect unison, and then they trepang into the sunset together. I really hope someone makes a supercut of everyone who's tried to say that out loud over the course of the week. Oh my goodness. Socials? Hold on, I'm calling Socials. my team. I'm calling my people. <laughs> <laughs> One more. And we got $5 from, oh no, Donald Duck, <laughs> who says, Oh boy, that was so perfect. I know you leave my hope as the most powerful red mage, right? Right? Oh my god. <laughs> that was incredible, Kara. <laughs> <That was> <laughs> I think you what? said I, I think you said that we need your help as the most powerful red mage. Is that right? Oh, that is correct. This is a good place to find some ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Can we get a round of applause for our host, please, in the chat? Wow. Um, I also just want to say that uh, all the hosts this week, you've been incredible. So um, big love to all of you. Very, very proud and impressed. And of course, our wonderful host lead, Char Bunny, guiding that team. Mm -hmm. And thank you for getting those donations and also, again, for this new incentive, the bonus final episode bosses. Right now, we're at $120 out of 1000 and we have until the end of this run, which is not that far away. Yeah, we're definitely over halfway now. Uh, we just got Axel's Keyblade, so... Keyblade. I love that Keyblade. I think it's really, really pretty. And uh, we're kind of getting to the... 
Radiant Garden is the midpoint of the run. It's kind of where a lot of my times I'll either reset if the armored fight isn't going well or be like, okay, I'm really on a roll here. We have a few more worlds left to go. I hope everyone is ready for something that uh, all of the Kingdom Hearts games are really, really known for. Uh, very fun and engaging mini games. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Wait, was that Minnie Mouse? It's Minnie. She's in a dress. That's cute. I know. All right. And so we have this is rhythm game. Watch this. <laughs> this is not fruit ball. I know. Oh my God. More ducks. No. Kara. <laughs> No, no, I'm still recovering from the last one. Do the dance, Taco. <laughs> yeah, you all need to play along. Good job. It's also my favorite song of all time. It's a small world. I have never had audio experiences this with this song. Oh, God, wait. I only just realized it's a small world. Yeah. Hey, does anyone want to do this for like 20 more minutes? <laughs> I think we should go on the ride three times in a row. <laughs> so I need to get a thousand uh, points, a little over a thousand oh, points I, I, to get past this. I, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know how much you would need to donate for a backflip, but the answer is too much. I can't do that. <laughs> All right, donation in here while you can just watch them be silly. A sure thing. We've got $10 from Chaz ML. Thank you so much. Um, fifty dollars from back. anonymous. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired. <laughs> Great job. Great job. Good Sorry, work. Yeah, continue, Kara. We also have twenty nine dollars from Jalen, who says, "As promised, here's my donation for each alert we got in the Metal Gear Solid Two run. Good luck to the rest of the runners. Shout outs to the fabulous production team, and much love to chat. Less than three. Thank, Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Great run." And it's so amazing to see all like so many of our runners just like destroy their estimates. It's been like <laughs> so you all are incredible. I am not going to. So no. hey, same. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Bum, bum, bum. All right. I forgot how long that mini game was. It's quite long. <laughs> um, so here we are now with Young Hercules oh, and with Zach. Is... Um, so any Final Fantasy VII uh, fans in the chat, I believe that Zach is from Crisis Core. Um, very, very cute character. I love that, like, Birth by Sleep is a prequel. So I love getting to see, like, a storyline with Young Hercules here. I think that's just, like, a really cute touch. You're a Final Fantasy VII fan, by the way. That Kingdom Hearts prize pack that Auburn Moogle sent in. Uh, has a very, very cool cloud uh, statue in it. Yeah, it's so, so pretty. Sorry, I'm really distracted because I just noticed that when you do the thunder animation, uh, Ventus swing swings his hand around from like the, the part of the blade that he's using to backhand it and then goes to the, like the main part of the of the handle. Huh. Y'all see that? No, no. to be honest. No, I just got so knifed by that. All right, well, good work. <laughs> I, I distracted you. <laughs> no, so the thing is actually that uh, the jellyfish in this are very dangerous. So you have to be pretty aggressive with using magnets near them. Um, and there I was just going in too much with the thunders. The thing is that thunders do... I learned this like a week ago also, that thunders do more damage when they're hitting multiple enemies. I didn't know that. I think I did know that one. Yeah, so... Like uh, the, the damage on a single enemy increases if it hits another yes. enemy. Yeah, well. so that's why uh, our strategy of magneting a ton of stuff and then thundering is really good. I just thought it was good because... They all they get all, trapped, yeah. and you know, I didn't, I didn't think it was a damage scaling thing. So that's why it's actually very good to try and, even though I only have not a ton of magnets in the deck right now, it's better to use both of them to get everyone near me, and then use all my thunders oh, while the, the magnet is recharging. -like? It kind of is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, good time for donations here. Sure thing. We've got $29 from Zokuban. $29 for 29 alerts on that last fantastic run. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Thank you so much, And then another $29 from Jen, donating $29 to match the number of alerts we got during the... Yes, right. <laughs> during we got that amazing Metal Gear Solid 2 run. Good luck to Court on this wild Kingdom Hearts run, putting this towards the voice acted cutscene incentive and getting us closer to the bonus Celeste run tonight. Yeah, we should talk about Celeste. So uh, if you've been enjoying the nonsense and chaos of this couch, uh, two thirds of the couch will be back for Celeste uh, with Carrie, who is a very, very talented runner and is going to have a very clean run. Uh, first of all, the D sides are amazing. I've played them casually. I'm also a Celeste runner, but the speed run is just going to absolutely, you're, you're going to be so impressed. 
Um, and so please, we got to make sure that we hit that milestone of $87,000. So every single donation that you make is going to help us see more Celeste and more FF. So when you say uh, two thirds of the couch, you mean me and the newcomer, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, oh, the newcomer! <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, just to be clear, Court and I are going to be coming on to do, um, keep them safe. Okay. <laughs> they have to do a run right now, May. Um, but yeah, Court and I will be back to do commentary for Carrie Carrarium, who is lovely and amazing and wonderful. It's another it's studio run. Obviously, it's going to be so much fun. We're, we're going to have a great time. Um, I'm, I'm so excited. Uh, so we have two mini games here. Uh, this mini game, I just need to get 15 so I can actually take this time to hit main instead <laughs> and give that back to you. Uh, and I've been bippity boppity boop. You've been bippity boppity boop. And then Carol will be so excited to learn that we have a two minute mini game that I can't do anything to accelerate. So it will just be your time to talk that entire time. Fantastic. I can't wait. I literally can't wait. It's happening right now. Um, oh, except, I, except I mismenued, my bad. <laughs> Give me a sec. Am I good to go? Yeah. Okay. Ready, go. Ready, go. Um, folks, we are at $129, uh, no, $120 out of $1,000 towards this final episode boss incentive. Um, you've gotten me so hyped that I can't tell zeros from nines, which is not a problem I knew I had, but it's exciting to learn about ourselves. I only know the number one, so you're doing better than me. Great. <laughs> Imagine knowing how to count. We have a $50 anonymous donation. Thank you so much. $25 from Derby Doll. 25. No comment. Thank you so much. This is so much money being raised for the National Women's Law Center on International Women's Day. It's incredible to be a part of this. Thank you all so much. Yeah. It's lovely to be here raising money on International Women's Day and just generally getting to raise money for National Women's Law Center has been such an honor this time. Um, I agree. Yeah, it's like, as, as the event lead, that's something that was, you know, a huge part of my preparation for this event was getting to work with uh, em Emily, Jen, and Asma from the National Women's Law Center have been absolutely incredible meeting with me every month. Their enthusiasm for this event has been, like, unparalleled and I'm glad that we're able to give back to them and the work that they do. So please, like, exclamation mark, NWLC in the chat. You can go to their website and see all the things that they're doing to make our world better. It's true. I, this is, I will not gush because you just did such a great job. But the fact that these <laughs> events are for charity and for such, I mean, that is part of what made me want to get into speedrunning in the first place was events like these. That's yeah, really great that, like, um, a big, I don't know, I guess like a defining ethos of the speedrunning community is giving back. Absolutely. Uh, and we have wow, so many- I crushed oh. Hercules on this one. Holy cow. Uh, so sometimes this one's tight, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and get over 200 here. That would be funny. Oh, maybe. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. That is the highest, score. Again, that is the highest score I've ever, I've ever done on this though. BB. <laughs> That's never happened. BB, BB oh, um, One of those How many worlds do we have left in the game? We have Olympus, Deep Space, um, Neverland, and then a bunch of fights. But uh, Olympus is about to end, and Deep Space is like two minutes. So we are we 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 are nearing getting the, the final act arc, you would say. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And so we need to be putting those donations towards the final episode bosses. I want to see Court have to do these again. <laughs> yeah, it's really it's really fun. Uh, I love getting to do these bosses. They're very, very flashy. And also, uh, you want to see Aqua. Aqua's best girl. Mm-hmm. True. Aqua's best girl. And here girl. I thought Aqua was awful. Did something change? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you think about it, Aqua's voice is, like, similar in, in like, a very vague way to the TikTok TTS announcer, don't you think? I, I, a little bit. Like, you can, you see where, I, where I'm going with this, right? The uh, master loves you and wants you to be safe. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was such a blast. Uh, Thunder Thunder is what I'm looking for here. Menuing is so hard. It's really difficult, especially while I'm talking and listening. Um, so, as you can see, we're just continuing to like level up our commands. So, in the gaps, Thundara. So, Thunder becomes Thundara, and then it becomes Thundaga, and then all this kind of stuff. Ignite is a really interesting command that we're going to use a few different places. It basically is like, it's kind of like poison, actually. It does a little bit of damage, and then it you know, makes you keep doing it. I need to put on Renewal Block. That's very important. Uh, so Renewal Block uh, and Counter Rush. 
Renewal block and counter rush, when you block things, you get health back. And then counter rush, you get meter. So that is really important to our end game strategy for a lot of the bosses. Oh, so, so what you do is you have your one shot protection and then you renewal block to get back to full HP so that you get your one shot protection back? Yes. And when we're blocking, we do counter blast. So we get to, we block the attack and then we immediately counter blast to build up our meter. Um, and then we're going to use the most busted finisher of all time, Peter Pan. So it, it's, <laughs> it's unreal how good it is. It's called Sword Bill. It is, it, it, it is stupid. <laughs> Uh, literally, once we, it's good they leave it till the end of the game because it's yeah. uh, very, very overpowered. What we is it? Does it just do damage? Or? You'll see. You'll see. It's okay. very flashy. It's like it's a lot. It's a lot of hits. It's a lot of hits. And the thing is that being level one increases your finisher damage. So finishers that do a lot of hits are very good. Hit him with the JoJo punches. The JoJo punches. Yeah. Ora ora. All right, going into Deep Space. Uh, Deep Space is not very long. Invents is a story at all. There's not really much going on. Most of it is happening with Terra and Aqua. Um, so when you play this game casually, you go through each of the stories on the... I forgot about this. This is a gotcha take that moment, except you don't get to say gotcha take that. It's the worst. It's just a jellyfish? It's just a jellyfish. So we're on this little hoverboard. And uh, the problem with these hoverboard fights is there's no way for me to heal. And ah. we're still at level one. So I will get owned. It's, it's rough. Is this random? <laughs> What, what, if I encounter it or yeah. not? No, no, no. But um, the, the attack patterns are very random. The, I find the background very distracting. Like, it's just a really, like, it's a really janky fight. Why do you look so cool and edgy now compared to... Oh, you're in your key plate. You're in your outfit. You're in your armor to travel between worlds. Because yeah. this is, uh, the gummy ship hadn't been invented yet because the newcomer hadn't invented them yet. Exactly. Gummy ship? Actual lore. The is gummy the gummy ship. ship like a gummy bear? What? You don't know what a gummy ship is? All right, can we get back to quizzing Akko, by the way? Can you need to win the Kingdom Hearts prize pack so you can read all the books in it. You're right. <laughs> it has been a little Don't. while since I've seen a donation with Kingdom Hearts lore yeah, or Kingdom Hearts quizzes. Back to that. I can't That's see where the I want, is. I want y'all to tell me stuff or make me figure stuff out. Um, but wait, so in the... Do the manga volumes, do they follow the story of the games? Or are they a separate story entirely? I'm, I'm not sure. Good question. You know, that's something that people could donate and win that and find, find out for out. themselves, I suppose. Are you suggesting okay. the existence of a Kingdom Hearts multiverse? <laughs> they would never. No. Oh my god, this, this fight is not ending. Please. Please. Okay. Oh, you don't have to beat the whole thing. No. That's why I never know when it ends. Okay. I, I don't know. It's, it's very, like... I don't know if it's a certain amount of hits. I don't know if it's a certain amount of damage. You don't have to do the whole thing. If we did the whole thing, that would be... No, like so you're wait, doing very much damage. So, so. like, you're, you're, like, traveling through slip space to get between worlds, and then there's just this random jellyfish that comes to... It's to, an, uh, it's an unverse. unverse. Oh, my bad. Okay, the unverse were sent out by Vanitas to stop us. Hmm? I see. Yeah, so the they're broker. not just floating in the ether or whatever? I, I no. think they were they were sent to, to us direct by Vanitas. Direct? Like, same-day delivery? Yes. <laughs> Uh, and so here we go, we're, we have this other force fight and we're going to be using the strategy, you guessed it, Magnet Thunder. Uh, it's really great. <laughs> it continues to be good. Uh, and it's also, it continues to be a good time for donations. Sure thing. We got $25 from Doodlebee, who says, because I'm you. No, I'm me. I'm me, he says. Had to donate for extra bosses with one of the best lines <laughs> by really Riku good. and not Riku. Peak dialogue writing. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so is much. That, is that like Riku and Riku's nobody? No, no. Riku's replica. Riku's They're replica. separate. Riku is not the same. Yeah, that's, that's not on. a nobody. Not to be confused with Dark Riku. Okay, yeah. what about... Wait, so what's a Heartless, though? Okay. Heart is a, is a, so, so there's is two the Heartless, types of Heartless. Is a Heartless the same as the original person and then the thing that was removed is something Heartless else? Heartless are formed from the darkness in people's bodies. Yep. Uh, and then, But there's two types. There's Emblem Heartless yep. and there's... Uh, I don't remember what the other type is. Are they the just Emblem Shadow Heart Heartless? I don't know. Uh, right in to remind us. I always forget this. Yeah. Emblem Heartness were create, were, are like the bosses, and they were created by uh, Xehanort. Correct. And the other ones are formed out of... Um, just, you know, people... People's... Yeah. Can, people's people's evil. And then if a person with particularly strong will becomes a Heartless, they make a nobody. They make a nobody. Okay. You also have very... Oh, sorry. Go you ahead. also sound very confident about this, but I don't think I'm going to believe any of this until I read it in a donation message, personally. Mm, I think that's, that's smart. fair. That's what yeah. I base my facts on. Yeah, my, my <laughs> question for y'all, I guess, if you want to give me an answer, is what is, so what happens like to a, like 
these heartless are part of, or they, they came from part of the person, right? So can you reincorporate them into you, that person? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. If you kill someone's heartless and nobody, they okay. reform the original person. Yes. Or there are other ways to do it, like in Kingdom Hearts 1. What was it? What happened? I literally have only played Kingdom Hearts 1 one time because I'm a Kingdom Hearts 2 person. Ah, uh, well, so uh, Kyrie just realized what, that the Heartless was actually Sora, and then uh, their friendship reformed Sora. Oh, oh right. The, power, remember, the classic power of love. I remember right, correctly. Right, 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 right. Um, but normally, yes, if you kill the Heartless and you kill the, the nobody, they will, reform, they will reform. What about replicas? Replicas are like a separate thing. Are they clones? Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Play Chain of Memories. Good, yeah. game. Good video game. All right, you got something real quick? I sure do. Uh, we got $50 from FFX Faith, who says, while I am very hype about seeing 107% Hollow Knight, I am also very hype at the prospect of watching more Birth by Sleep. Have this 50 money so we can watch Aqua be awesome. Fire. You're awesome, money. Aqua. You're awesome. You're awesome, Alpha. <laughs> uh, we have fifty dollars from Anonymous who asks, "Who is the best Organization Thirteen member, and why is it the Shop Moogle?" <laughs> mm, the Shop Moogle. True. So I, is, is, wait, Moogle as in the the Final Fantasy yeah. thing? Have you not seen Have you not seen them around? There's been the oh, shops the whole time. So the ones the shopkeepers are just Moogles. Final Fantasy. They're straight up Moogles. Moogles. Yeah. So this game, this series used to have a lot of Final Fantasy in it. Yeah, and then Game Boy Three had like. Not a lot. And they added a bunch back in the DLC. Oh, so they Organization 13 has 13 members. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're off to a great start. They're led by Xehanort. Yeah. Technically, yes. Woo! They weren't. They were led by Xemnas. They were led by, yeah. So which one are you, which Organization 13 are you talking about? There's, the, there's the, is, the Organization 13 Xemnas and there's the true Organization nobody. 13. Is it the real Organization 13? Is everyone in Organization 13 a nobody? Yes. yes. Let's go. I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, is everyone in Organization 13? And I would believe that. <laughs> that by the end of the series, just every character is canonically part of Organization 13. definitely 13. In the real Organization 13, I think there's 15. In the, there's, the real, the real Organization two, 13. There's two on the bench. Oh, in case you need to stop out. Yeah. Right? Like, in case somebody doesn't follow through, right? Because that's, that's happened before, like, Roxas and Shion not doing so good for uh, uh, for the Zay side. Okay. Well, you know, oh sometimes you need a day off, right? So you gotta gotta have a assistant uh, member on the uh, on the council, right? Cool. See ya. See ya. That fight is is generally not too bad, but the thing is, uh, you will just immediately get one shot by it. It does a ton of damage, so you have to be constantly paying attention, uh, and that's hard to do. But, uh, high stitch. Could I jump uh, in sorry, real that quick? That is, uh, Experiment oh, 626. That's true. You're right. I just immediately got out. <laughs> what do you mean? You have something you were saying? I do. I just wanted to mention that we are 25% of the way to this $1,000 wow, bonus final cool. episode bosses incentive. And Fantastic. it might that's be great. hard to do, but not impossible. We can get there and we don't have a lot of time. So there's a, there's a Kingdom Hearts quote for this, surely. Surely. Nice. Is it time is becoming slim? Is that a Kingdom Hearts quote? <laughs> <laughs> or too slow. Too slow. No, sure, surely we will not be too slow. <laughs> All right, so we're getting into Neverland. Neverland is kind of where we finalize our, our build here. We have, a, we have two more melts. Um, we are purposely leveling up certain things here. Um, putting some things in our deck that we're not actually going to use, but just for the purposes of leveling them up. So the things we need to see level up here are Zero G, Thunder, and Magnet. So just going to be, uh, we did, we basically just like farm here to make that happen. And then once we level up, we can move to the next screen. So I should be good. And going to do one more meld here. And good time for donation while I'm doing that. Sure thing. We've got $5 from Naomi Plays. Says, go, Court, go. Thank you for organizing such an inclusive community. Lesson three. Thank you so Thank much, you Naomi. Naomi. And as a reminder, $5 donations are just as good as any other donation because all of them get us closer to these incentives and these milestones. So big donation, small donation. Let's get them in. Let's speed run this incentive, folks. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and Naomi's also a member of our wonderful games committee. Shout outs to all of the games committee members. Don't worry, hold fast. <laughs> um, we've got a lot of $5 anonymous donations. Thank you to all of you. 
And in fact, I shouldn't group them together because they are all worthy of individual recognition. We have $5 from Anonymous, and we also have $5 from Anonymous. Whoa! Whoa. Thank you so much. I think a $5 Anonymous train could get us there real quick, honestly. I think that is true as well. Mm -hmm. So, is Anonymous a member of Organization 13? <laughs> are nobody's no, Anonymous? They have an X in their name. Yeah, uh, they, they have an X in their name. Anonymous. <laughs> I'm literally laughing so hard I can't remember which D like I'm supposed to use. It's no way. Okay. Uh, you know what the Raku's sigil is? What is the Raku's sigil? Anyway. <laughs> Anonymous Mouse sounds like it would be like Mickey's nobody. <laughs> you mean the newcomer? Who's that? Yeah, sorry. The newcomer. How can you add an X into the newcomer? <laughs> hmm. All right, here we're just using Bashful, which is just a, like, you are going to disappear ability. It's ridiculously good, as you can see. Wow. Oh. Um, yeah. They disappeared, and also the screen decided it was doing this effect now. Yeah. It always does that when you want to fight in Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, it but, does. like, that, that it, it, was, it, it did was, it, like, three times there. It was pretty extended. Uh, but, yeah, uh, that's another reason why we need Snow White there, because otherwise we have we have absolutely no way to uh, kill those enemies. The, the They're really, really powerful. Um, all right, another very tough fight is coming up for me. Uh, the Captain Hook fight is super particular. Basically, you have to line up everything in a way that we're actually going to be using the newcomer's D-Link. Uh, it's called Light Charge. It's very excellent. Oh, I, I remember this one. This one's real hard. Yeah, it's a it's a challenging setup, but I find the setup for it more consistent than the armored fight. It's just like more... You have to be very quick on the draw. So but basically... Like, with this one, once you've got the setup, it's it's good. You win. Right? Exactly. So what we're going to be doing is we swing the Keyblade to force Captain Hook to jump, and then we run over, we knock him off, we use Ignite, which starts this, like, the poison effect that you all saw with the other fight. Uh, we make... He runs runs back, we D-Link to Mickey, or no, we Ignite, we D-Link to Mickey, we hit him twice, we hit him again, and then we run over to a very particular point, and he's gonna hit us, but we're not gonna die, and then we're gonna use Light Charge. Okay. So let's get him. It's just that, gotcha. It's just 11 steps or so, is oh, that what so you're Oh, so it's like that, huh? <laughs> Doesn't get it at all. Doesn't get it at all. Uh, hey, Carrie, you got anything to say? I always have things to say. It's my gift, it's my curse. <laughs> um, we have $27 from Non-Binary Code. Little known Kingdom Hearts fact. Oh no. Super Metroid Paper Mario Kingdom Hearts Tactics 2.5B Rondo of Blood Turbo RPG Gold Diamond 64 Game of the Year Edition and Knuckles was not scored by John Williams. No, really shocking, I know. Now let's extend Frost what? Fatale's PS Trans Rights. That's right. Thank you very much. Oh, I got a little light on that Kingdom one. Kingdom Hearts. Title. Impressive read, Kara. Thank you. We've got five dollars from Flaky. Hey, Akko, this is some lore to make uh, to help make things more clear. Heartless okay. are people's hearts. Nobody's are people's leftover bodies. Xehanort actually norts for the reunion tour of Organization 13-2 Lightning Returns, and sleep is a canonical superpower that Sora fails to get. Thanks for the Wait, great run. So Loving it so far, putting us towards those final uh, final episodes bosses, which, by the way, we are now at 42% there. Huge jump. You guys are doing so good. I know we can make it the rest of the way there. Okay, wait. So I thought nobodies were heartless but big. Like, no. Like major heartless. Those are emblem heartless. Oh, wait. Nobodies are, are characters like Roxas. So bodies that are, do not have a soul? Or particularly strong... Uh, willed individual uh, becomes a heartless. Okay, so so Dora is the heartless, and Roxas is the nobody. Or no. Dora's heartless existed in Kingdom Hearts One. There, that is part of the game. Okay. In, in that, when that occurred, Roxas was created. Oh. But because Sora was returned to being Sora, not through the normal way of doing it, but through Kyrie recognizing Sora's heart, uh, heartless and the power of friendship, Roxas persisted. Is my, I believe that is right. Somehow, Roxas, Roxas survived. Returned, yeah. <laughs> Can I jump in with a couple more? Sure. Yeah. Let's do. You know, I, I called for that $5 Anonymous donation train, but instead we got $10 from Anonymous and $50 from Anonymous. Nice. And $5 from Exonymous. <laughs> oh! Uh, although there That's seems awesome. to be uh, some debate, because we also have ten dollars from Anonymous that says if Anonymous was a member of Organization Thirteen, their name would be Axonmacy. Axonmacy. <laughs> I I could see That's that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. All right, and uh, 
This is about time for our uh, Keyblade bid war to close, and then I can uh, change it pretty much at any time. We just have like 10 bazillion cutscenes to go through right now. Uh, so let me know which uh, Keyblade won. You are going to be using Axel. Yeah! Woo! That's the correct choice! We've, we've been new. I'm memorizing it. <laughs> exactly. You got it, chat. <laughs> uh, parentheses memorized. Parentheses memorized. Uh, so Ventus has the most cutscenes in this endgame here. Uh, we just like, it's like, hey, you want to go to this world to watch a cutscene? You want to go to this world to watch a cutscene? Uh, and so once we get there, remind me to turn on the actual Keyblade. Cutscene Worlds Tour. Yeah, exactly. Who is, like, who is that that just showed up? That was Erica. That was Erica. Oh, is that Mark Hamill? Yeah. Yeah. And T uh, Tara just killed him. What? Yeah. yeah. Is he going to come back? Erica's? Yeah. I don't is think he, he does. Is he dead I mean, that, that was Tara Zeno at this point, right? No, Terra no, Terra kills him. Oh yeah, because Terra gets tricked. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Is it because is did, was yes, Terra able to get tricked because uh, because, he because was of the bad. darkness? Because the darkness inside of his heart. I yeah. see. Yeah, and ba basically it was a setup. Like Xanor set it up so that uh, Terra would get mad at, at Ericus and kill him. Is Terra is Terra a Keyblade master? No. No. At the beginning of the game, Terra fails his Mark of Mastery exam because oh. Xanor essentially rigs it. Yeah. I see. So it's. So it's manipulated. It's a big, set, it's a huge to, setup. Yeah. So, so, wait. So this is just, this is just Star Wars, right? Yes. Yes. The reason why uh, <laughs> Mark Hamill, Mark Hamill and Leonard Nimoy voiced uh, uh, Ericus and Xehanort respectively is because um, uh, Nomura was a fan Star Wars, of, was a, fa a Star Wars and a Star Trek fan, and wanted yeah. to put them in the same series. It's so uh, good. Y'all, do you mind if I jump in real quick with some very exciting news? Sure. Yeah. Do. We have just hit the bonus final episode boss incentive. Oh, what? what happened? We, I mean, everything happened all at once, folks. We got $100 from Rail Tracer. We got $200 from Berry Fam and Cats Assorted. It says, Happy International Women's Day. Gorsh. Let's go, women. And, Let's go, women. And $500 from Anonymous. Wow. Who says, Thank you so much, everyone. Kingdom so Hearts much, Organization 13. <laughs> Sorry. Kingdom Hearts Sorry, fact. The story actually takes place in what is sometimes referred to as a, and I want to make sure I'm pronouncing this right, video game? Video game? I don't know. I don't think there's an X in that. It doesn't seem right. <laughs> that has wow. also gotten us so close to 82,000. Everything happened so quickly all at once. Thank you, everyone. Wow, that is I incredible. That um, okay, <laughs> so I actually explained this one to my commentator, so I'm going to let them take this, please. You did? Yep. You did? What when is happening? Happen? What is happening here? Uh, I'm blocking so, and then I'm hitting oh, things. Oh, yeah, you're blocking with uh, the uh, regenerative block, and then you're using the thing to charge up your... Um, what is the other one called? The one I'm going to win faster than you can explain it. The, what do you mean you're there? The thing what? that charges up your meter? Swordville? And then... Oh, no, 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 you the fell! Other. That was me. Swordville. Swordville's me, yeah, but the meter is called... Yeah. Just the command the, you, you charge up the meter with the, with the, with other, the, ability. With the other uh block ability and then you use Peter Pan's uh move, whatever it's his called. Finisher. His finisher, yes. It, uh, and that does a million hits and each of those Too does slow. a little bit of damage, but enough that makes it really OP. Yeah. You saw I did a lot of damage there. Um you have to time it so he's doing the little fire thing, and if you time it correctly, if you time it correctly, you one shot. You will win, but I'm going to two shot him instead, which is not the biggest deal. Not uh, as not as impressive, see, but you got still, we got first try. Oh, wait, no. We got to hear a two slow. Clap, so was worth it. Yeah. Slow. So, too slow. Uh, first try, even though that wasn't perfect. Uh, <laughs> very happy with that. I like that I thought I killed him, so I looked back, and then he wasn't actually dead. I'm glad I didn't he's, die but in you've that moment. It, <laughs> what? I'm sorry, we didn't pay for that one. <laughs> All right, so that's, Vinny, so that's Vinita's one, now it's Vinita's two, and we've revealed that he looks like Sora, even though we all look like the same thing. It doesn't, oh, come on. What? He's Sora. I know. Wait, and there, right so there, you know what that is right there? You see that, Akko? Yeah. You know what that's called? A nobody. The Keyblade, the not key to be blade. confused with the Keyblade. Oh, it's the Keyblade. It's the Keyblade. <laughs> oh, I understand, because it's an X. So it's not an X, it's a Kai. It's, it's, it's like a Kai. Greek letter but Kai. They, but they in the game, it's pronounced Key. For no reason, just make it called the Kai Blade. That would clear up so much. To be fair, I don't know if like in Greek, do they pronounce it Kai or yes. Key? Yes, I'm pretty sure it's... Mm. I don't know. The, like, point, the main English. thing here is that um, without the subtitles on, I do not know how you would understand this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, right, because they go like... Yeah, anyways. Um, so this this fight is a similar concept. I am building up the meter, and then I'm going to use sword build. The thing is, building up the meter in this fight is much, much more difficult because Vanitas' attacks are really volatile. So anytime that I'm in one health, it's dicey for me. 
Like like the dungeons? Like the dungeons, like the dungeons yes. Um, wait, so I know y'all have already said yeah, this to me. Vanitas is not our nobody. Wait, Vanitas is not our nobody, but he is, he is the all of the darkness sucked out of Vanitas' heart. Pure dark, so he's created by. Is he a heartless? No. Is he anything? Is he just he, his own thing? He's just his own, own thing. thing. What? Why? A being, of, a being of darkness created by Xehanort so to clash with the beings of light in order to uh, create, form, form the Keyblade key blade. and summon and open the door to Kingdom Hearts. Yep. I don't understand why this is so hard. Okay, but what what is the King, like, oh, Kingdom Hearts? Oh, boy. Heart? I think Kingdom Hearts is light, personally. I think Kingdom Hearts is light, yeah. What? We don't know. And there's so... Okay, so there's... Oh. Have, so no, no, no. have we no. never been to Kingdom Hearts? There are multiple the Kingdom Hearts. No, we, we, we there's don't. the Kingdom Hearts of people's of Kingdom Hearts of people's hearts. There's I, this one I don't know very well, <laughs> but there is more than one different Kingdom Hearts because there's the one. Well, yeah, that's like there's, at the end of Kingdom there's Hearts. One, three. There's, there's two. The one that's in, there's three. Um, there's three. There's Birth the, by Sleep. There's 358 over two. There's, there's the one that's in the world that never was. Yep. There's a third one that I'm forgetting. There's the one that's in. The, there's the Kingdom Hearts that's in the realm of darkness. That's a third Kingdom Hearts. Um, and I don't remember the differences of them off the top of my head. We did mention, we talked about it on a Sing Fast episode once, so I guess go watch that. Okay. I'm in. Before I ask another lore question, I want to ask Kara if she has anything more to say. I do. My vision is blurring listening to this, but I think I can read these. <laughs> Uh, we have $60 from Yenzo, who says, had to donate during my favorite series, Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts fact, everything is data. True. Thank everything you so much, data. Yenzo. So, this is the whole thing where no man doesn't know what a computer is. And so, like, No one knows what a computer is. I agree. True. Everything can be, like, digitized, and computers are magic. Yeah. I see. And so, Yenzo so all the is... magic is computers? Where do you think the bugs are? True. In the inside the computer, the bugs that they bug. Riku has bugs in him. He's got bugs in him. Yeah, and that's a recoded line. And so, oh, Ian recoded because computers. True. Yeah, yes, correct. Recoded. Okay. Sorry, give us another one. Sure, we've got twenty-five dollars from Zinge, who says hello from the dumpster. So excited to see Kara hosting during what is definitely her favorite game series, Kingdom Hearts. Is that true? It's Back true. Time. I'm a super fan. It's true. This fight's hard. <laughs> This one is true. This one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, we have $10 from Lemon Carrots. who says, my favorite Kingdom Hearts quote is when Mickey tries to make sense of the lore by saying, I found out where Ansem is. Ansem the wise. The real Ansem. <laughs> the real Ansem. <laughs> Tawaka, that one's a retcon. That one's a retcon? So in the first it's game, there was a researcher there were named, Ansem? named yes. Ansem. And they were the final boss. They retconned us that there's two Ansems. Ansem the Wise and Ansem Seeker of Darkness. Ansem Seeker of, Seeker of Darkness. Essentially, Ansem the Wise is like cool and, and um, nice. And then Ansem Seeker of Darkness was there in order assuming Ansem's name. And so, um, I see. yeah, it's a whole thing. So, so, so yeah, Ansem, Ansem got Norded? Uh, Ansem, Ansem Seeker of Darkness hey, is, that, is, is that, Xehanort's that... Heartless. No, so we have, uh, in classic Kingdom Hearts fashion, we have a nonsense minigame at the end. Uh, and I'm not going to explain it until I win because it's stressful. Wait, so y'all still haven't explained to me what getting Norded really is. Getting Norded is when Xehanort puts himself in your heart in order to control you. Okay, but so Ansem was controlled by Xehanort. Or no. no. Xehanort pretended Xehanort to be Ansem. Xehanort took Ansem's name. I and see. this was essentially to explain why the villain in the first game was called Ansem, but then also have... The there's first two sets of Ansem. Or in terms of release. Uh, in terms of rele uh, both, because um, it's the Kingdom Hearts 2 thing. So, like, wait, there are these... Wait, there two are these, more hits. Uh, stream Tech, I have two more hits to go, by the way. <laughs> just letting you know. There are these, like, secret, they're like these reports you get in the first game, and I believe, like, the first half of them are from Ansem, uh, Ansem the Wise, and the second half are by Ansem Seeker of Darkness, but they were all by, written by Ansem in the first game, and so this is this was essentially a retcon to try to fix that. All right, time's coming up. Okay. <laughs> This part, that part is just very annoying and very easy to mess up. If you don't lock on there, you can lose. That's funny. Oh. Time. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Uh, so yeah, you basically de-link with Vanitas there, is the concept. Oh. And you're building up the meter to then use your de-link finisher, which like, is a cool like ending to be. The, the de- <laughs> Yeah, like the Do you, do you hug him after? Uh, no. He kind of vanishes and disappears. Do you steal the Kai Blade? Uh, the D and DNY percent stands for D link because you do that with battle line. Oh, and the S and DNY percent. <laughs> what? Yeah. Denny percent. Or right, you can you can pronounce it how you want. Maybe y'all should tell us how you pronounce Denny or DNY percent or Deeny percent. 
Maybe that's what you want. <laughs> I don't know. Well, court sets this up. We got time for a donation, court. This one. You can also, uh, is it pronounced key or Kai? You can throw that in too. True. Yeah. Um, we have got $100 from Marley, who says, My favorite thing is listening to people try to explain Kingdom Hearts lore. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love it too, except every time it happens, I immediately black out afterwards and forget everything I've heard. I apologize if I got <laughs> anything wrong. I feel like I was like, I've been largely accurate, but I probably got some details incorrect. Did you say that, that Kingdom Hearts sorry. 2 was the first game? No. Kingdom Hearts 2 is the third game. Which, oh. Right, we need to get into the, the incentive here. <laughs> okay. it before, wait, 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 wait. Let's right? start the incentive first. So time starts in three, two, one. Go. Coded came Woo. before too, right? I like yeah. how you gave a yeah, little pause a before you said go, just to like give a little mix up to the people in the control room. Hi, control room. <laughs> Hello, uh, thank you for being with us. Shout out to all of the uh, lovely studio volunteers and producers that have been uh, setting things up throughout the week. It's been incredible in here. Wow, we're Aqua now, and look, it's Norded. It's it's Norded it's Terra. Norded? Yeah, look, he has white hair, so that's how yeah, you know you got know. Norded already. Are all so is anyone who got Norded gonna have white hair? Pretty much. Uh, I think that's true. Uh, no, yeah, yes. And also, I should talk about the incentives. There's two fights here. We fight. Ter we fight Terranort twice. Uh, the state. The strategy is uh, build up your meter, get Peter Pan. The difference is that Aqua has reflection barrier instead uh, of the what what uh, Ventus had. But otherwise, the concept is the same. Now that I have full meter, I have to wait for him to do the little pink sorty slash thing, and you'll see what I mean. That technical term. Yeah. <laughs> this song's a banger, by the way. It's really good. So. So where is this game in the timeline? Wait, what game is this? Is Birth by Sleep, right? Birth by okay. Sleep. This was the first game in the series. It is now the second game in the series. I don't. I think the it mobile missed. game yeah. Union Cross is the first okay. game in the series now. I see. Or chronologically speaking, is this it like a Legends like Arceus? Scenario? Way, way back during during, uh, during the Keyblade Wars. I see. So it is a Legends Arceus scenario. Yeah, it's pretty similar. Think of. Yeah, but also Ventus is there. Oh, Ventus. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't know. I, it makes I, no sense. I do not know that much about uh, Union Cross because when I was like, oh, maybe I should play it, it uh, they took it down. So I'm lucky. I played it a lot in college, actually. That was, that was, that was Keaton's first experience. Of, There's uh, like a Hearts. lot. I have watched back cover, which is the essentially uh, Union Cross. Like, I tried to watch back cover. 40 just, minute film uh, that like catches you up on everything. And I did not retain a lot of it. I'm I, I didn't retain like any of it. Yeah. I liked it, but I was just like, I don't. There's a lot of names that are new. So the reason I'm jumping is because when you, I believe that when you jump and do this, that you get more meter. Um, I could be wrong, but I've, I've, that's how I learned it. <laughs> uh, it looks fun. All right, so this should hit. Whoa, whoa. Here we go. <laughs> it's really fast. Uh, Aqua's, Aqua's level one buff is really good. Uh, playing on level one with all, I believe is faster for at least, I know for a fact, Aqua and Ventus, I'm not sure about Terra. I think it is though. But it's like, this is like your typical speed run. It's faster and more dangerous. And very, yeah. very difficult. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so now we're fighting this guy who loves to show up all the time. <laughs> Why does he have a stand now? <laughs> you mean his shadowy other? His shadowy That's other. <laughs> That's so, what they call it? Yeah. yeah. I use I use a balloon letter to get D-Link to turn on Peter Pan. And then we have this like incredibly long thing here, which is very annoying. Yeah, yeah. OK. So try to build up meter, as usual. Um, we, are you gonna attack me? You're gonna do the thing again? This is bad. What's what is happening? He's just standing there menacingly. I know. And the problem is I'm on one, one HP. So I'm gonna try and retain Ooh. here and not get hit. That was good. I'm. Oops. I love the way no, Aqua good. looks when I'm she flips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Aqua's cartwheels are very very fun. The really fun thing about playing this game when you have bosses back to back too is that they put you on the continue, and if I hit continued, I have to do the first fight again. That's funny. <laughs> why? Why would they do that? I just <laughs> to ruin my speed runs. Uh, I find this one uh, slightly harder. I, I find this one harder to build meter, and then the kill is very easy. It's 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 the inverse of the first one. Take that. Uh, could this end very shortly? Yeah, it's gonna end right now. Okay. Time. <laughs> that was that was quick. <laughs> I love showing off those fights. Nice when job. they go well, you're like, what? Yeah, they're just over <laughs> in three seconds. So the setup is difficult. 
I hope you all liked watching that. Uh, if you played this casually, those fights are both a pain. You can see that how much health that Terra Xehanort had there. Doing that casually takes a lot of time, preparation, patterns. No, we just sword Bill. Um, but thank you all so much. Uh, for donating to make all of those incentives happen. All three incentives did really, really well. Raised a ton of money for the National Law Center. Um, thank you for listening to this chaos, and thank you to both of you for making this the best run I've ever done, ever. I had so much fun. It Thanks brought me a lot of joy. Of so. course. Uh, you know, I had a lot of fun, too, because it's fun to be one. It's fun to be one. Uh, Anything else the two you want to say? Real quick, I want to shout out Kara. You've been amazing this whole time. I'm pointing at your name that we have over here. <laughs> I realize that that's not pointing at you. No, I can you know feel it. I feel it. <laughs> You're lovely. Uh, it was great to be here. It's fun to be one. Yeah. Uh, check out both of them on the Celeste the uh, run later tonight, assuming we hit that bonus game. So get, keep getting those donations in. Thank you to everybody who donated to see both of those incentives. Everybody's donated throughout the entire week so far. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you to everyone who supports FF and have an amazing rest of the event.